So here's up guys, Harshin and back with another video and today I'm gonna show you this thing. This is known as a Wi-Fi development board. So people use it in their hobby projects or some school projects or some or for some networking purposes but this time I'm gonna use it to jam someone else's Wi-Fi. This thing is highly illegal in India but in 99% cases no one will ever come to know that you have jammed or purposely jammed the Wi-Fi. So let me just quickly unbox it and show you how it is done. So as you can see here we have this caution logo right over here. It's saying static sensitive device is not to be handled by unauthorized personnel. So I think that this is going to be very crazy today. So as you guys can see, this thing came in this very simple packaging, straightforward packaging. Let me just quickly take it out. Alright, so I need to peel it off from right over here. Alright guys, so inside this, we have this little thing. So this is known as a Wi-Fi development board. As you can see this. Wait, let me just take this thing out. Alright, so I don't know what is this. There are some transistor and some register as well all in this thing. Obviously, it's a circuit board, so there will be transistor and registers. So as you can see, here we have this Wi-Fi chip. So this will transmit the Wi-Fi signals. Wait, let me just show you. As you can see, here we have this Wi-Fi chip. This will transmit all the Wi-Fi signals. And a normal circuit board we have right over here. And from here, we will supply power. As you can see, it's in the normal USB, USB adapter. So wait, let me just quickly connect it. Alright guys, so to power this thing up, you can use anything. I mean, you can just place it into a wall socket or you can use the power of your iPhone. So alright guys, to power this thing up, I'll use this power bank. So let me just quickly connect it. Boom, there you go. So I don't even know that it's connected or not. Alright guys, so for whatever reason, my power bank is not working. As you can see, the LED light is not going up. So let me just quickly connect this into the outlet wall socket. 12 seconds later. Alright guys, so as you can see a blue LED is glowing on this, so this means that it's connected. Now let me just show you how you can jam someone else's Wi-Fi using this thing. So let me just put this thing right over here and now I'll just show you on my iPhone. As you can see it's my iPhone 5 guys, wait let me just focus it. Alright guys, so in this video I'll try to jam Wi-Fi using my iPhone 5 s but you can do this with your computer or Android device or anything. I mean you can do this anything which has internet connection. So let me just quickly go to the Wi-Fi. Six and a half hours later. And so alright guys, as you can see I have connected this Node MCU right over here to the main power supply and I have installed some commands in it. So this means that by default it will not act as a Wi-Fi jammer. So you need to install certain commands right into this thing and then it will start acting as a Wi-Fi jammer. So that process is very easy. If you know a little bit about these things, then you will be able to install it very easily. I have those commands written down in the description below. So let me just quickly show you how it is done. So I just leave it this thing right over here. And so alright guys, now I'll just go into the settings of my mobile. And as you can see, we have this network tuned right over here. And I'll just click on connect. By default, the password of this thing is dauthor. So as you can see, it's now connected. Now I'll just go into my Safari web browser. You can use any other browser for this one as well. I'll just type in the following URL 192 dot one six eight dot four dot one and as you can see I have this thing right over here so now I just click on scan and now it will scan all the available Wi-Fi networks around me as two Wi-Fi's are available around me right now Hershow, Mini and some Romeo alright guys as you can see this Hershow, this is my Wi-Fi and now I will attack this Wi-Fi and jam it so wait let me just show you on my other device that my internet is running on this Hershow and so alright guys as you can see I have connected this Hershow right over here onto my laptop and I'll just show you that the internet is running on my Hershow And so alright guys, as you can see this Hershom is connected to Wi-Fi right now and as you can see the Wi-Fi is running very perfectly. As you can see this thing. Alright guys, so as you can see that this thing is running pretty fine. And now I'll just try to jam this Wi-Fi. Wait, let me just show you. So alright guys, now I'll just go into the settings again. Oh, I'm sorry. And now I'll just go into the Safari web browser and I'll just reload this page. This is 192.168.04.1 and now I'll just click on scan. So now it will scan all the available Wi-Fi network around me. Now I'll just select the Hersh Home network which is my network. So alright guys as you can see I have connected this Hersh Home right here. And I'll just go to attack. So alright guys as you can see I will just start the deauthorized attack right over here onto Hersh Wi-Fi. Or oh, I'm sorry Hersh Home which is my Wi-Fi and then the internet will stop working. Wait let me just click on start. And as you can see it's start. And boom there you go as you can see it's tending packets it's 20 packets per second so this means that the wi-fi is deauthorized from the internet right now so let me just show you the internet so alright guys now i'll just type in some random letters into google search um now i'll just click on search and as you can see the internet has been stopped because of the deauthorized attack performed by this thing 
and so like this as you can see the connection on this laptop has been stopped as you can see there is an error on this laptop your connection was interrupted and now let me just show you some other thing which you can do with this thing so i'll just click on this random right over here and it has created 64 new ssids and i'll just click on bacon list i'll just start it and boom there you go as you can see it's sending 640 packets per second and now the person will get these wi-fi in his wi-fi search list wait let me just show you the person will freak out he will be very angry at you and as you can see we have plenty of wi-fi right over here And so guys you can do one more thing with this um, for example let's say you have stopped someone else's Wi-Fi and definitely then the person will go into his Wi-Fi searches and check his internet connection and now I'll just click on add and type in some random SSID for example someone has hacked my Wi-Fi oh, I'm sorry jammed my Wi-Fi and let's just say I'll just type in Hirsch you idiot and I'll just click on OK and I'll click on start and then wait let me just show you what will happen now and there you go guys as you can see first you idiot right over here. i think that this thing is pretty cool and there is one more option in it right over here wait let me just show you i'll just click on attack and i'll just click on bacon clone so as you can see it has started doing this and it's sending 320 packets per second and now i'll just show you what will i get in the wi-fi searches um, boom, there you go, as you can see, Harshom, 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 Harshom. As you can see this. And I think that this thing is pretty cool. This thing is way more than awesome. You can do plenty of things with this thing. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys made till the end, drop a like to this video. And if you want making me more such kind of videos, hit the red subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.